that's the thing, Bulletproof. I haven't even gotten to the best part of my story. So me and Hardtop go back to the bar we did the first five shots of Jameson at. That's when things started to get a little fuzzy. Here's the thing, Bob. I don't want to talk about our next heist. I want to talk about getting a gallery to display my artwork you've seen me working on so diligently lately. <laughs> I want you to have the shield, Sam. I mean it. You're going to be the next Captain America. It isn't a debate. I get to drive because my name is in the title of the vehicle. It's called the Doom Cycle, not the Baron Cycle. I'm driving. That's it. Gusselin, have I ever told you the story of the hero that had to wait over an hour for his appetizer? Are you busy next week, Vanessa? Because I was thinking, let me stop you right there, Sly. Never gonna happen. We're talking toys. We're talking toys. Hi friends, it's nice to be here with you. This is Talking Toys with Magic, and I'm your host, Magic. Today, we're talking about sidecars. As a kid, I never consciously noticed the trend that occurred throughout many of the different toy lines that I collected and played with, which was the motorcycle sidecar. Today, we're going to be talking about the different motorcycle sidecars that I have in my collection at the moment. Let's take a closer look, shall we? One thing that I always loved about sidecars was the fact that it was one double vehicle that had room for two figures. The more the merrier, right? Obviously, there are many more sidecar toys out there, but today we'll just be focusing on the ones in my collection. The first sidecar we'll start with is from one of my absolute favorite toy lines from 1988, Cops and Crooks. I've got a lot more to say about my love for Hasbro's Cops and Crooks toy line, but today we'll just focus on the Cop Cycle Blue Streak. The box has long arm and bulletproof on it, and I've always been a huge fan of trying to set up the toys just like it was on the box, so here they are, ready to take off on Blue Streak. Next, we've got a fun one from the 1989 Batman line released by Toy Biz to accompany my favorite Batman movie, starring my main man Keaton. When Keaton's Batman started hitting the magazines and shelves, it was everywhere the eye could see. And my little brother and I were bonkers for Batman. Whoever was in charge of licensing for that movie really nailed it because that symbol was everywhere. The sidecar has a launching function, which is always cool, so Joker can launch Bob into oblivion. I recently acquired these offerings from Mattel's 1984 Secret Wars toy line. My wife and I were at a flea market on vacation this past fall, and I saw them and decided to snatch them up. They were both still in these very beat up, but sealed boxes for the right price, and I intended to open them up anyway so I was beyond excited to add them to my Secret Wars collection. They're actually what gave me the idea for this video. The Turbo Cycle and the Doom Cycle are basically the same vehicle with some obvious differences. The main one being that one is for the goodies and one is for the baddies. Both cycles come with the fun secret compartment feature where you can use the special key to open the secret compartment behind the sidecar seat. I especially like the purple color they used for the Doom Cycle. Doomsday gets really possessive when it comes to driving. Next up is from one of my favorite Saturday morning cartoons, Darkwing Duck. This 1991 offering from Playmates lost its shield somewhere along its journey, and it's missing the box, but I think I actually like the way it looks even more now that I've removed the entire front of the bike. Now Darkwing can feel the wind sailing past his beak as he takes his daughter Gosselin on their next crazy adventure. Lastly, we have what was my first sidecar I ever had as a kid. In 1985, I got Piranha for Christmas, and for me, it was a smash hit. 
I was so pumped because it was not only my first baddie from Kenner's Mask toy line, but it could also seat two figures. Many, many vehicles that came out around that time period did not come with an action figure, which made the Mask toys extra special because each vehicle always came with its own figure, or in some instances, multiple figures. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed my video on this kind of weird topic of sidecars, but thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Listen, Bob, I've worked with a whole slew of henchmen over the years. Some better than others. <laughs> but do you know why I like you, Bob? Because you always seem to have a leg up on the competition. <laughs>